I've read many self-improvement books and all of them were kind of boring. They taught me one or two things and then it was okay. The best self-improvement book in the world that I would say everyone has to read. And if you don't have time to read this book, you will have to make time because it's just so good. The book that I'm talking about is of course the Holy Bible. And the Holy Bible teaches you many, many things. But here's a thing that the Bible taught me. The Bible taught me that self-improvement has always existed. In the Bible, it says a dozen times, this guy went up to this mountain and meditated on this image, meditated on the words God told him. It says many, many times, this guy talked to this woman. And it talks about women, it talks about standards, it talks about people skills. And the Bible itself is a journal of the people who lived back then. I'm not saying that the Bible is merely a journal and that it's a that it is a fairy tale. It is real. But we have to see that the people back then, they were also on self-improvement. Self-improvement isn't new. The game isn't new. It has existed since the dawn of human time. And I'm asking you, why did it exist back, since back then? It exists because God has made self-improvement. We found a new name for it and every century has a new kind of expression for the same thing. What we call self-improvement, ancient cultures titled as being a monk or being a knight or being whatever strict, disciplined, um, high level people meant in that age. And I think this unveils something beautiful. Self-improvement is a thousand year old tradition that the most disciplined of men and the best of men do. And we should all be grateful that we get to experience this. We should all write in our journals this evening, I'm grateful for being on self-improvement. We should all write down, I am grateful that I can follow this years old tra tra tradition there have always been people who did self-improvement. Maybe it wasn't aware to you. Maybe it wasn't known much, but I guarantee you in some way, shape or form in every century did some form of self-improvement. And I think this just increases the glory that is behind self-improvement. Man, I'm sorry I'm moving so much, but there are fucking flies everywhere. Can you please stop attacking me? Please go away. Just go away. I don't want to kill you. Go away. Go a fucking way. I will destroy you. Go away. Okay. Where was I? The Bible just teaches us, okay, this is a thousand year old tradition that we're, that we're doing right now. We shouldn't be looking for new self-improvement habits. We shouldn't be fancy about it. We should just do the ground base habits and do the things that I told you on this channel thousands and thousands of times. I have never told you, this is the new self-improvement micro hack. This is, you, you can eat chocolate and then you'll increase your testosterone by 5%. Uh. The message I try to bring across on this channel is do the base habits of self-improvement, do the habits that you started with. Do the habits that got you where you are. Don't be fancy. And just max those out. And this is the message the Bible gives me in general. There are many messages that are hidden in the Bible. It is a great book that you need to read. There are so many great lessons, so many great mantras that you can just say to yourself um, that will give you hope and that will give you discipline and strength. At some point, all humans will believe and I think that this is true. I know that it's true. Because you will not stand in front of some wood God. You will not stand in front of some, some fake God. You will stand in front of the Lord Jesus when you are dead. And he will tell you go to hell or come to heaven. My actionable step for this video is you buy a Bible today. I've put a link 
of to some Bible in the description. You can buy any one you want. And I want you to read today, or as soon as that Bible arrives, I want you to read Genesis 1 through 5. So five chapters in Genesis. And I want you to read the Gospel of John, the first two um, chapters, basically. That's what I give you as an exercise today. And I want you to pray every single day from now on. I want you to pray a prayer of thanks. And I want you to thank God with everything you do. Because everything belongs to Him. Your life belongs to God. You are made by the Lord. He is your Father. You belong to the God that has made you. And He is Jesus. And Jesus is Him. Have a nice day. And master your mind.